Hello everyone. My name is Shefumi Ege. I'm a film editor and motion graphics artist from Nigeria. I'm here to show you how I created the moving pictures montage I posted on my YouTube channel last week. This is what we're going to be creating today. Let's start by opening a project. You can see that the project window is populated with pictures already. So let's start by selecting my pictures. I think I'll start from this one. <clears throat> by clicking on the first one. And then shift clicking on the last one here and drag them all into the timeline and you can see that the pictures are of various sizes so I'm gonna try to reduce them to the appropriate size and make them all to be equal in size so let me start with the first one. Hit S on the keyboard to bring up the scale properties of the layer. Scale it down to about this size. I think this should be okay. I'm going to use the size of this first one to measure the rest of the picture. So I'll bring up my rulers by pressing Ctrl R on the keyboard and then create some guidelines here so we use this to measure the rest of the pictures so I'm going to shut off the eye of the first picture And then click on the second one hit s on the keyboard to bring up the scale property and scale it down so i'm going to do the same thing to the rest of the pictures too so bear with me as i do that this is the last picture so let's hit s on the keyboard scale it down so with that done we can get rid of the rulers So the first thing we're going to do here is to create a null. And we're going to use the null object to animate all of our pictures. So let's select the first picture and then shift click on the last one and parent them to the null. I pressed P on the keyboard to activate the position property of the null. So when I move the null, all of the pictures move with it. Now I'm going to try to arrange the pictures on the x-axis. So to get an accurate and equal space between the pictures, I have to bring up um, the proportional grid. Click. So this will give them equal spacing. So this is how I'm going to arrange all of the pictures on the x-axis. So I'll just arrange the rest of the pictures and then we can continue. Now that all of our pictures have been arranged, we can get rid of the proportional grid and start to animate our pictures. 
So let's call up the position property of the null object to start our animation. So let's move um so let's move everything off screen. I want to create a black space at the beginning of the timeline so I'm going to move forward 10 frames in the timeline. The fastest way to do that is by pressing and hold on the shift key and then tap on the page down key and that will move you 10 frames forward in time. So we click on the stopwatch here to create a keyframe. One, two, three, four. That is 40 frames. We move along in the timeline at 40 frames intervals, creating keyframes by dragging the position of the null in opposite directions on the x axis to create this back and forth motion of the pictures. So I'm going to ease this keyframe by right clicking on the keyframe and easy easing. So this will ease the motion. I'm going to try to ease it more by clicking on the keyframe velocity. Crank it up to 100%. So that we ease the motion more. My composition is only about four seconds. I did not remember to set the composition duration time. And my composition is only four seconds. So I'm going to try to change that now by coming to composition setting. So the duration is just 4 seconds. So I'm going to make it... Okay. I think I'll just make it 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the pictures to the duration of the composition by going to the end of the composition, pressing end on the numeric keypad and then selecting everything and alt press alt right bracket to extend the layers now we can go back deselect one two three 30 frames along and then let's move another one, two, three, four. I'm going to bring up the proportional grid again so I can measure the center of the composition. Ruler. Okay. So when you get to the picture you want to introduce, you click on the picture and then you activate its scale properties. 
so you click the stopwatch and then move 10 frames and you scale it up a bit I think this is okay you move 5 frames forward and then you copy this keyframe Control c and then you paste it Control v so we're going to ease this motion let's give this one easy ease and this one is easing let's go to the keyframe velocity and crank it up to a hundred percent okay well at this point you know in the original version when the picture scales up it bounces that was achieved with expressions and that is um advanced in a way so i'm not gonna do that now but i'm gonna make a tutorial on expressions that's a separate tutorial but for now i'm not gonna do that after the bounce, we're gonna let it rest for like um, 60 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we add a keyframe here so that um, it remembers its position at this point. And then we add an effect the scatter effect here scatterize okay so we add the effect here we're gonna animate the right twist and the left twist this is how we achieve the transition from this picture to another picture so now that we have um keyframed the three properties there we're gonna move 10 frames and then make one full revolution for this one full revolution for this too and then we scatter okay Okay, let's press the U key to see um, our keyframes and then we move um, another 10 frames down and then we turn this to zero. So at this point we're going to cut the layer so that we can bring in another picture let's cut this by pressing alt right bracket right square bracket let's pick one of the pictures to replace that so let's pick this one because it is farther away simply do that by duplicating this duplicate by pressing ctrl d we cut it by pressing alt left square bracket and then we move it here Okay, 